Hello my peregrini friends, welcome back to the exhilarating east coast track. We've got a fantastic day ahead and I hope you all enjoyed the last minute Kichiveta exposition that Ari organized just for us. It was an incredible opportunity to explore some of his remarkable work and I must, that I must say it really brought a fresh perspective to our experience. I absolutely love the idea of arriving at a new location and showcasing the incredible craftsmanship of mechanics from all around the world. It's a celebration of creativity and skill that unites us. Oh, I'm sorry for my voice if you, I'm still sick. If you are a talented mechanic like Aris and are eager to share your own creations with our community, we'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment below and check the link into this video description for details on how to get in touch with us. Let's keep the spirit of innovation alive and continue showcasing the amazing work happening in our community. And speaking of innovation, this morning we're kicking off the qualification for our bottom 8 drivers. And trust me, we won't want to miss this one. As you, might, as you may have noticed, we're introducing a new brand new form of the promises to keep you on the edge of your seat. In, the, in this new setup, the drivers will tackle their qualifying laps together, adding a twist to the competition. But wait, it gets better. Each driver will have the opportunity for not just one, but two qualifying laps. This means they will have a second change, a second, a second chance to leave their mark on the track. Who knows, they might just find that extra burst of speed on their second attempt. We are all waiting to see who will rise to the challenge, and uh, the best time recorded from these two laps will determine the, their qualified positions today and will also play a crucial, role, a crucial role in the overall standings for a group division later on. However, this format isn't without its challenges. The dynamics of racing mean that a slower driver can inadvertently affect the performance of a faster one. Imagine the tension as a speedy competitor attempts to navigate around a slower car. Will they make the pass and improve their time, or will they be hindered by the traffic? Overtaking is permitted, but there are rules to keep in mind. If a driver makes a reckless move that forces another off their trajectory, say by hitting them and causing a loss of control, the offending driver will face a hefty penalty, an additional 9 seconds added to their best time. Before we wrap up for the action, I want to turn to Ari. Ari, given the changes you made and the skill of our drivers, who do you think will secure first, second and third places today? Hmm, I did not work on Julianos and Eos cars, yet I recognized their considerable skill. In my opinion, Elisha will be the first, because after modifying her car, I noticed her driving capabilities improved a lot. Juliana will be the second, even though she doesn't have any upgrades to her car yet. But she has definitely a lot of experience, and for the third place, I think Poliana has a great chance. So yeah, I think Alicia will be the faster than Juliana, and in third, Poliana. Now that we have Ari's predictions in our back pockets, it's time to buckle up. Get ready to an electrifying session packed with strategy, skill, and a thrilling dose of drama. Let's dive in! The drivers are about to hit the track and there's one important detail I forgot to mention before. A 15 second gap will exist between each driver as they start. This will make it slightly more challenging for them to catch up to the one ahead. So now let's dive into the action. Starting us off is Poliana Vaz. Currently she's in the 22nd place with 2 points. Unfortunately, Poli hasn't finished the last 2 races due to crashes involving other drivers that took her out as well. Next in line is Team by Dargan, who, like Polly, also failed to finish the past two races due to, to crashes. Team Bain is currently in the 20th position with 4 points tied with Zach. I can sense a bit of low motivation coming from him already. Now we have Zacharias Galanogu. Zach hasn't finished the last two races either. He's currently tied with Team Bain, as already mentioned. However, unlike Team Bain, Zach seems to be bursting with energy and determination and his gears up for this qualifying round. Oh, oh and here comes Reinaldo. Reinaldo Cabral is known as the most aggressive driver we've seen in the championship and he too didn't finish the last two races. However, he did secure 8 points in the only race he completed, which places him in the 19th position. 
Did Ayo just hit Nina? <laughs> Nina has just come from the hospital after her near fatal crash in the Redwood track. She's declared herself ready for this race and wants to prove herself that she can start strong and finish in a respectable position. And speaking of eagerness, here comes Ayoto. He bumped into Nina at the start and is currently in the 17th position with 14 points. Ayo had an impressive performance in the last race, starting from the back and overtaking Gustavo to finish in the 6th place. Now let's talk about Elisha, a mid-tier driver who didn't finish the last race due to a miscalculation of the first turn during the second lap that broke her front axle. I remember her being on fire behind Shane, really pushing him to the limit. And the last to start is Juliana, who is tied with Elisha in the 15th position with 16 points, showcasing a very solid performance. She was the first driver to crash in the race during our inaugural event in New Zealand, but since then her consistency has shown through, finishing both on the last race in the fourth place. Poliana just completed her first lap with a 1 minute 54 seconds and 616 milliseconds. This puts her temporarily in the first place, of course, being the first to finish as it works, right? <laughs> Jim Bai has also finished his first lap with a 2 minute and 66 milliseconds, followed by now Zach with 1 minute 49 seconds and 216 seconds. Hey, now is approaching now and he has a 1 minute 41 seconds, 583 milliseconds. Hey, now is a beast out there, just a little bit crazy behind the wheel. And here is Nina with an impressive sound that is possible to hear from the entire track. I think we owe this powerful noise to what is hand you. Can someone bring him over? While we wait for Ari, let's check Nina's time. It is uh, 1 minute 41 seconds and 966 milliseconds. Just a half a second slower than Heinaldo Cabral. And here comes Ari. Ari, what did you do to Nina's car? It's so loud, we can hear it from across the track. I really liked it, actually. Thanks for bringing me up here. Do you like the sound? So do I. It's the new sports exhaust I installed on Nina's car. Isn't it amazing how small changes can make such a big difference? All the Heritage Edition owners are already jealous. <laughs> I'm sure they are. Right. Now we're back to the reason. Oh, wait, why was Zack stopped like this and Reynaldo just hit him? Whoa, look at this. Hey, Reynaldo, where are you going? Reynaldo, what's... <gasps> no, I can't believe it. this is the qualifying map. The qualifying round. Reynaldo, what are you doing? You're crazy. Well, it's the end of the qualifying for him. And well, he has already defined his best lap at 1 minute 41 second. And we have to catch up with the other guys as well. So, Alicia Brooks, Juliana Fraga, and Poliana Vaz have already finished. Poliana finished his, her, second, well, her second lap. We are now checking on what Zach is doing. Because he is closing in on Jim by the Will he try anything crazy like Hanaud was doing? Oh, oh, look at this. And he is passing. He passed during the qualifying round. Oh my god, Zach is on fire. He is on fire. And now we have Elisha here approaching Ayotund. And we didn't even check their time. Okay, she just stopped a little bit. So we can go back and check. Ayotund finished with 1 minute 59 seconds and a half. Elisha Brooks finished with 1 minute 48 seconds and almost a half second. Juliana Fraga also finished with 1 minute 52 seconds and exactly half second. Then Poliana on the second lap she finished uh, with 1 minute 52 seconds. This last lap being the best lap she had, that's, that she did. Timbay Dargan finished also after Zach passed him. Uh, Zach finished with 1 minute 49 and Timbay Dargan with 1 minute and 58 seconds. Oh, he lost like. 9 seconds. Hey, hey now that we already talked. And then Nina. Oh, wait. Elisha, what are you doing? Oh, she's gonna be punished. Definitely. Definitely. So Nina Hill finished with 1 minute 40 seconds. So it was the best lap for Nina. Elisha now just finished with 1 minute and 48 seconds. Ayotun Pamilikunai with 1 minute and 59 seconds. And finishing Juliana Fraga with 1 minute and 51 seconds. And for today's round, we have two punishments to give. The first is clear Elisha will receive 9 seconds after hitting Ayo in the back, making him turn around with his car. And the other wasn't very clear, but he definitely interfered with Zach's time. He now will receive also a 9 seconds punishment despite his crash. After the application of the 9 seconds punishment, 
in the first position of the demo remained with Nina. Zack managed to gain to the second. Reynaldo is still well positioned in third. Juliana went up one position to the fourth. Oli also went one position up to the fifth. Alicia went down to the sixth position. Kimba in the seventh and Bayo in the eighth position. We will know the rest of the table once their time has been computed in the next two rounds that still need to be run. And this is the end of our quiet round for today. It was crazier than I expected with so many things happening at the same time. Let me know in the comments if this format was interesting. I hope you all liked it and I see you in the next round. Bye! Ah, wait, 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 I was almost forgetting. Our Aris prediction didn't come true. However, if we remove the punishment given to Elisha, the order of which he positioned Elisha, Juliana and Polly was correct. He missed by two with Nina, Reinaldo and Zach, who is in the middle of Elisha, of the girls, uh, if they didn't mess with his prediction. So anyway, congratulations, Ari, that was a very good prediction. And uh, if you who is watching made prediction or would like to do one, just comment in the video before before the race starts, just for the fun of it. Or you can check the, the description of the video to talk to us before I release the, the video so I can also include yourself in, in here. Now I'm going. Thank you. Bye.